What is going on guys? Greggles TV. We're going to go into the sound settings on Samsung One UI. I have it on my Galaxy Note 9 right here. So let's jump right into it. So what you want to do is swipe down from the top and press and hold to go into sound. And it brings you right here. You're going to see sound, vibrate, and mute. So sound's obviously going to play sounds uh, when you get notifications and things like that. Vibrate will vibrate. Mute, you can set here. Uh, and obviously you'll get no sounds at all when your notifications and things like that. Uh, temporary mute is also here. You can set how long to keep your phone muted before returning to the previous sound touch mode vibrate. So if you turn that on, you can go in here, and I've kind of talked about this, but I'll go over it again in this video. You can set it to one hour, two hours, three hours, or you can go into custom and set a custom amount of time that you want it to do it up to 23 hours and 59 minutes if you sh so uh, choose. And then that's pretty much it for temporary mute. Now let's turn that back off because I don't want it on. Hit the back button and it brings us into sounds and vibration. So let's go in here and a lot of this stuff might be the same for what you have on your phone, but we'll go through this anyway. So sound mode, like I already went through that. You can vibrate when ringing if you want, if vibration is turned on. Ringtone, this is gonna be all your ringtones. There's a lot in here. This is the one I have set. If it plays, let me turn that mute on. There you go, there's my ringtone. But they have all kinds of ringtones in here. A lot of these are the same old school ones they've had before. Ooh, ice cream, a little jazzy. Charlie Brown right there. I'll stick with my sunset. Yeah, there we go. You can add ringtones in here too if you want to. So you can go in here and choose from whatever audio tracks you have saved on your phone. Next up is vibration pattern. There's tons of vibration patterns. I mean, I think so. There's like what, 12 here, 12, 10, 13, <laughs> wherever you want to count them out. There's a lot in there. And um, you've got zigzag and offbeat. And I don't know if you, you probably can't hear those, but I'm choosing offbeat, but there's tons of like, it, it just vibrates differently if you choose these different ones. I think it's pretty cool if, if you don't like the regular boring old vibration patterns on your phone when your phone vibrates. Next, you got notification sounds. I have mine set to rise, which sounds like this. Um, again, they have a ton in here. Too much. Some of these are a bit <laughs> too loud and obnoxious, but yeah, so I just like rise. Kind of simple, you know, easy to notice. Next up, we got volume and you have ringtone, media, notification, system, and Bixby voice. You can control the individual volumes for each one of those settings. I'll just go in there too, just to make sure you have nothing in here. So you can get a media volume limiter. So under here, you also have the media vol volume limiter, which protects your ears with a media volume limit for Bluetooth headphones and audio devices. So if you turn it on, you can actually set the custom volume limit and then set it and then put a pin in. Vibration intensity, you can change the how, how much it vibrates. Obviously, if it's all the way to the edge of the right, that's gonna be the most intense. All the way over the left will be basically nothing. Next up, we have use volume keys for media. If that's turned on, it uses uh, these volume keys to control media volume by default when you press the volume key. So it would control if you listen to music or a video or whatever it may be that uses media, it's gonna be by default controlling the media, which to me, I use way more often than any other media, any other control for these, more so than the ringtones and all that stuff. System sounds and vibrations, you can go in here and turn off system sounds for like touch or screen lock, charging sounds, dialing keypad, keyboard sounds, keyboard vibration, which I cannot stand. I don't, some people have that turned on. I hate it. I always keep, I always, does like one of the first, these and touch vibration. These are the first two things I always turn off on a phone because I can't stand when you, every time you touch it, it vibrates. That's an annoyance to me. Uh, advanced sound settings, you go in here and you can go, to, go into sound quality and effects. And this allows you to turn on like the Dolby settings. So your sound is gonna be that much better when you put Dolby Atmos on for gaming and just regular. Um, it just makes the sound more bassy, more full. It's definitely a recommended uh, thing to turn on on your phone for sure. And you can go in here and set it to different settings. I set it to audio, uh, auto, so optimize the sound automatically for whatever I'm listening to, have it be for music, movies, games, voice, whatever it is. You can do you know something different in here if you want, or you can just keep it off if you want and you don't like it. Again, I love it. You can also in, come in here and equalize the sound the way you see fit. 
Um, you have DAP sound. DAP sound is actually kind of interesting. Um, this is where you can set certain, so it says find the best sound for you and use for calls, music, and video. Adapt sound may not work properly while media volume sync is turned on in Bluetooth settings. But basically you set your age and then you can go in here and play around and choose the best sound that you want. And then at the bottom here, looking for something else, you have answering and ending calls. You can go in here and read caller names aloud when you get a phone call, press the volume up to answer, automatic answering incoming calls after a set time while a headset or the Bluetooth device is connected. It'll basically just answer the call for you or press power key to end your call. You also have smart alert and your smart alert, your phone will vibrate when you pick it up after you're missing calls or receiving messages when that's turned on. And then lastly, do not disturb. I've gone and done a video on this already before, but you can turn it on. Um, and if you have it on, just to go in here, you can basically turn and hide everything if you want. So if you don't want to get any notifications, it'll block all of them. And then when you turn it off or if it automatically turns off after a certain amount of time, it'll automatically show up all your notifications. So it's kind of cool to have that. And anyways, guys, that is all the sound and vibration settings on the new Samsung One UI software. It's pretty easy. It should be very familiar if you've had a Galaxy phone before. And uh, yeah, there you guys go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.